Hello friends and welcome to the very first episode of whatever this is and whatever this may become. I'm really excited that you decided to check out this video and if people like this and I don't bore you to tears then maybe it'll be, it's something that I'll continue. Um, I'm really excited because today we're going to be playing Grow Home which is this amazing little game that I got off of a Humble Bundle a while back I think. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, I've had a great time playing it so far and so I'm excited to show it to you. So let's start a new game. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So, this game, I haven't played very much of it so far. Oh, gotta be quiet. Mission report. Star Plant Expedition. Expedition. Day 937. Ooh, we've been in space a while. What a weird little ship. Life sustaining ecosystem discovered. Scanning for Star Plant. Star Plant. Zoom. Enhance. Star Plant located. Activating botanical utility droid. Bud. Oh, it's so cute. Deploying exploration tools. Launching bud. And it's just gonna fling me out of the planet. Can I, can I move? Objectives, explore ecosystem. I, I guess not. Grow star plant to 2,000 meters. Harvest seeds for return to earth. Have fun. Is that part of my, my goals? Internal power low. Oh crap, okay. So here I am on the planet. Oh my gosh, this thing is so beautiful. Okay. Okay, mom. Shut up. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna go for this. Grab with mouse button. Mobility increased. Find more crystals to increase power. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to climb. Uh, so this game, you it suggests that you play it with the controller, but I'm just gonna totally ignore that because I don't have a controller and go ahead with the mouse. Um, and I'm collecting crystals because I think they'll do something good for me. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, so we will see, we'll, ch we'll see and find out. It's not too bad to play with the mouse. I'm actually surprised. It's, it's like a rock climbing simulator almost. Um, here I am, ta-da. So I guess I'm in some sort of deserty place based on the, oh, cutscene. Okay. Crumbs, this place is remarkable. Crumbs sounds like a bad thing. Examine wildlife carefully and grow that star plant. That, that looks like, oh my gosh, that's, that's some weird looking plant. It almost looks like a, some sort of like alien worm or I don't know. Deploy and stow with F. What a feathery, potentially floaty flower form. Floaty, you say? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, now I have a little, little backpack. Okay, great. Um, so I guess here we go. Oh man, oh man, okay. I'm going, I'm going, did I miss something? So the weird thing about this game is that, uh, so I heard that all of the movements are procedurally generated so that when you're trying to walk, you don't always walk exactly as how you're trying to go. Uh, looks like Bud hit the bottle of I don't know, motor oil a little too hard, and so he's always stumbling around here. Um, kind of reminds me of Vender when he's uh, not had enough alcohol. I thought I saw, so I, oh, there it is. So I'm, I thought I saw a crystal down here, and I think this is it. Success, okay, moving forward. Can I grab these things? Oh, guess not. What, what are these? Are these just plants? Up. Oh. Nope, guess not. I guess we're just gonna have to keep going. <gasps> Whoa, that looks like a cave. Okay, I think I should probably not fall in the water because uh, all of my video game training teaches me that robots plus water equal not good. So I'm gonna try and stay out of the water and see if I can make my way over to that cave without drowning, which would be fantastic. <gasps> Sheep! Sheep, I'm coming for you. I just wanna... No, don't run! I want to be friends! Come back! Oh, hey, look! Hey, can I pick this up? Oh, sweet, I can. No, sheep! Be my friend, sheep! Come with me. Come with me. We're gonna do something fun. So, when I was exploring this game a little bit beforehand, I I found out that you can actually drag things to this... This isn't just a teleporter, it's also like a teleporter scanner. And uh, if you manage to get things in there, 
very alien abduction style. Nope, nope, you're not, you're not getting away, sheep. It will like float, they will float up and get scanned by the computer. Scanned items are registered in the data bank. Check the mission report screen for details. Okay, let's check that out. So, data bank. New, meep. Oh, you're a pretty ruminant mammal, aren't you? And you're a quadruped. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'll call you Terrence. Uh, okay. It's not really fair to keep pets on the spaceship. Otherwise, we'd be taking this one home. But you'd be feeding it and cleaning after it, especially after that last bit. Last bit? Did I try and take something back another time? Okay, well, I guess the sheep is named Terrence now. Um, so here for all sheep shall be known as Terrence. Aren't you a good little Terrence? What about the other guy? I guess he's also a good little Terrence. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if I can't drag this thing over there too. Oh, but I should probably get. I should probably get on with the game rather than just scanning things. Okay, move it, Terrence. I've got other stuff to scan. New item scanned. View in database. Okay, I'm gonna check that out later. Um, but for the time being, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna grab this crystal and then I'm gonna get on growing the plant. Perfect. Four percent. I wonder how many crystals there are. Okay. Onward and upward, as they say. So, okay. One one more crystal. I promise this is my last one. And then we're gonna get growing as I climb this bulbous and, uh, I'm gonna say slightly phallic plant. Um, so... From watching other people play this game, it seems like the thing to do is to uh, grab the shoot and hold on tight, grow with E. Okay, well, Geronimo! That, I did not go far. Marvelous! Three more energy rocks should connect the star plant to the huge floating island overhead. Uh, aren't all the islands huge floating islands? What is even keeping- I don't know what's keeping these rocks afloat, to be honest. Um, they seem to just sort of be be hovering in midair. Is there anything on this island that I need? So there's a cactus. Can I, can I climb the cactus? Uh, no. Okay. I've got a full flower backpack, so I don't need that. So I guess... Oh. There's an exclamation point over that leaf. Let's see what happens. Extremely elastic growth. Interesting. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's so much fun! <gasps> I'm gonna do that more often. I definitely need to start taking advantage of those leaves more. So here I am at the, I guess you would call it the head of the plant. Um, and, oh wait, I don't need to be here. I need to be on a sprout because I need to start connecting these plants like sockets, sort of. Like all the little, all the little red ones connect to, or the smaller outshoots connect to the green rocks and Oh, that was a leaf, and I didn't realize. Oh, grow my plant. Oh, I'm losing petals. Uh, okay, I'm just going to fall and hope for the best. Yes, okay, great. Oh, great, that's so close. Geronimo! We have contact. Okay, climbing on up. So, I've noticed that when the plants connect to the rocks, they stop being green. Um, whoa, what? There's some like weird little squeaking noise coming from somewhere. I don't know. Um, and I'm starting to wonder if like, maybe, I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but maybe I'm secretly draining the life force from this planet. I mean, there's a lot, speaking of, video game training, sci-fi training tells me that anytime you're like sucking light or energy from things and you're an outside invader that maybe uh, you're not the good guy. But I'm gonna put aside those thoughts for the time being and see what we can find. I'm just gonna keep, you know what, I'm just gonna keep growing, keep doing my best and kind of see what happens when I finally get to the top. Okay, so uh, the next rock is way up there, and the closest chute is down there, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fall and hope for the best. Yes! Oh, so lucky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So I hope this is gonna be 
I hope it's not too far and I can actually take advantage of the full length of this plant. Great. So let's see what's on top here. Oh! I figured out where the squeaking is coming from. It's my mouse. I mean, that's, that's sort of apt for a mouse, I guess. Uh, I thought it was sort of like a mouse in my bedroom. And I was really starting to freak out. Um, so... I, the reason being, you should now have increased camera control. Excellent. Ooh, I can zoom out now. Oh, look how high I've gotten already. Oh, there's a crystal right on top of the mountain. There's so many crystals I haven't caught yet. Okay. That is going to be a goal for the next episode. Get some more crystals and continue to grow my way upwards. So, um, thanks for watching this very first episode of Grow Home. And I hope to see you again next time. See you later.